Beyblades. It's Refrain. That's uh, the game I've been talking about for some time now. Uh, definitely through the Tales series. And definitely... Alright, everything sounds good. So let's go ahead and look at the options. There's English voice acting. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, voice volume. Bring the musics down. I like to hear... Check speed fast. From Pro Mage. Pro Mage, I don't even know what that means. Save. And let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So there is a original and then there's the refrain. Refrain pretty much gives you these two characters from what I understood. Uh, but it is slightly different from what the original game is like. Uh, so... I don't know. I don't know what one I would rather play first. Eh. We'll go original. The tale of a boy who carries the soul of a legendary dragon within him and his struggles to defy fate alongside his dragon year companions. This is the story as it was originally meant to be played, recommended for first time players. What does the refrain say? Tell of a boy who carries the soul of the shining dragon, the great savior of legend. This time, Two great figures of the conflict break the bonds of fate to join his side. Includes date events for Genus and Estella. Uh, recommended for players who have completed the original mode. That's kind of nice, though. They kind of tease what changes. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and play original. Obviously on standard difficulty, I don't see why I would play it on any other difficulty. She got their attention. That should leave this area clear. Right on time, too. I suppose she's never been one for half measures. But now it's our turn. Our target's on this floor. He should be trapped in a cell in the furthest part of the lab. We find him and save him. Yes, my lady. I want everyone coming back in one piece. Move out. Our mission starts now. <laughs> Controlling characters. It's pretty much all the same hum humble jumbo stuff. So I've already played the first, I would say, maybe hour of this game. Uh, just to make sure it was a game that I wanted to stream and uh, do a series on. So. But other than that, the rest of this game is completely unknown to me. The target should be just ahead. You there! Halt! Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh well. Who are you? State your business. Would you believe I'm here to rescue a princess? I guess you don't care. In any case, I owe you an introduction. I am Sonia Blanche, a sworn knight of Astoria. <laughs> oh, that's not a thing. 
They really have long titles for their character. Like, hers is actually probably the easiest to pronounce. An Astorian! Breach! There's been a breach! Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry, so I won't be holding back. Normal attacks. Said I'd better get moving before reinforcements arrive. Uh, if you guys were curious, they, the enemies in this little tutorial area are super dumbed down. They're, they're a joke, honestly. Like, even if I, uh, I would, if I were to die in this area, I would have to not do anything for probably hours. Because they don't really attack you. So as you see, the combat's pretty simple. It is very much hack and slash -ish. Kinda like how Tails is has abilities put with their uh, different attack buttons. So, pretty similar from what we're used to. This is it. If our information's right, he should be in here. to break you out. Just follow me. Huh? Come on. We need to escape before the guards arrive. Escape? Escape to where? I... I have nowhere to go. Do you want to stay here? Well, of course not. But... Then follow me. We just need to make it out and you're free. You can go anywhere you want. Come on. Let's go. I... Uh... All right. There she is! That's the Astoria Knight! There's more of them than I thought. So much for slipping out the main gate. Okay, change of plans. Milady. Good timing. Looks like we're going with plan B for the escape. This way. No. We'll hold the line here. You get to safe ground. What? No! Then all of you would... We'll be fine. We survived your training, didn't we? A handful of Imperials aren't gonna take us out. Fine. Do me proud, everyone. Um... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Just follow me. We can escape from up top instead.
Eh, force abilities. Magic and techniques that consume MP are called force abilities. Every force ability is a required cast time, la da 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 da. Step is step is step. really the way out? Sorry, I need to get used to reading again. There, the intruder is after them. Shoot, they're gaining on us. Hurry. I'm not really good at voice accents, so uh, I do apologize. If that's what you guys look forward to, I might try every once in a while. Yeah, I was so used to Tails. Tails practically read come. everything for me. Yeah, I didn't really read too much through that series. Save points. Alright, time to check this out. Uh, so pardon me as I'm going to save, going to see if it also holds up my uh, stream, so one sec. <clears throat> and that does, it does uh, block up my stream a bit, so I do apologize for that. Since I've been playing a lot of games that do that feature. <laughs> the this is our escape route? Right. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. They've reached the top! Don't let them escape! But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. They would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Come on, Dragoneer. Hurry it up. This is your cue. The hour is upon us, so you must be in position by now. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. She has a ridiculous title. Just wait. It's coming up here soon. I would hate to have to, like, say her full name with her title all the time. It would get old. Halt! Identify yourself! I am a Dragoneer of Wellant. Perhaps you understand what that means? Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own! I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. Wh what business does a Dragoneer have with us? I only ask that you let me pass. Don't be ridiculous! You think we'd just let you in? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my requiem, your soul will find peace. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica and inheritor of the Rune Songs of Nature. Face me! See? Yeah, you imagine saying that, like... 
five times fast. That is just a ridiculous title. The intruder! We're under attack! Kirika tutorial. Kirika is, I believe it's how it's said. She is good at range attacks and can support the party from the back line. Her break attack sends out a flurry of arrows that automatically track and attack multiple enemies. Kirika can also use the recovery force, heal to replenish HP. Whenever you use heal, a cursor will appear at the bottom of the screen above the character status display, allowing you to choose who to heal. Use the left or right arrow or the left joystick to choose your target and then press X to select the party members you want to heal. I have to say, her healing is actually, like this game's healing is probably the easiest healing I've ever seen an RPG have that's action based. Because like Tails, I hate controlling the healing. With a passion. I hate it. I've done it. That takes care of that. That's why I never do it. That's why I didn't play Estelle through Vesperia at all. Still no sign of Sonya. This is no simple delay. Has she abandoned the front gate? Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. Yuma. Yuma. Yuma, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. Your situation is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just get captured again. Why do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Don't you want to escape? I do, but if it means I have to use that power, I... I can't. They'd lock me up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. It's just pain. I'm used to pain. Yeah, if I can just endure it, then... There she is! That's the Astorian hey, Knight! You okay? Huh? What's wrong? I thought I lost you for a second there. No, it's nothing. But the guards... I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you safe until then. Don't worry. Right. Thank you, Miss Sonia. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, okay. Sonia. Wait. Wait. Something, Something about, about this, this feels... feels so, so nostalgic, nostalgic somehow. somehow. Uh, what, what was, was that? that? Yuma, watch out! Get back! R right. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? What are you trying to say? You are dead weight. A spectator. A useless piece upon the board of battle. 
I ask again, can you accept this? You are no younger, no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. Yuma, does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? <sighs> Fine, dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. It's time for me to fight. I am Yuma, heritor of the Dragon Soul. Vandalhorn, Dragon Resonator. I release thy bonds. Let this blade howl with the pulse of Dragonkind. This is my body and soul. This is Dragon Incarnate. Now, show them the might of Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator! Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. Yuma? Sonya, I can fight too! Song. Who's singing? <laughs> Who's that? She's... Dragon? <laughs> Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula? Then you're the Imperial Dragonair Princess. Excella! Indeed. Of course. That dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alfheim? To humble those who would stand against the Empire, Knight of Astoria. <clears throat> hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. What? Just trust me, okay? Oh, okay. Hm. Trishula, I leave them to you. Have at them. Of course. Hm? Trishula, wait. What? Huh? Is that... Finally, she's here. That song. <laughs> Impressive indeed, to block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika, 
A little late, don't you think? In you, foe, speak your name. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Dragoneer of Wellant, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding it. Her name is... Kirika? <sighs> it's, it's happening, happening again. again. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. My, the original Diva Magica in the flesh. An intriguing development. Then let me see your power firsthand. Trishula, take them! Kirita, can we handle this? I cannot say, but we must try. We must save the Shining Dragon, no matter the cost. Breaking. I had imagined the original Diva Magica's power would be more... impressive, somehow. It appears I was wrong. It will be more than enough to strike you down. Really? A bold claim. Shall we test it? <clears throat> I... can't move. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this. It's as if you're inviting my lance. Kirika! I think not. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm waiting. I can't move! Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that! We already put down your dragon! What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? <laughs> What's so funny? You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. It's... coming back to life? <laughs> that resonance... is that her harmonic? Now you see. Dragon and harmonic, uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a Dragoneer. Just beat it down again! I see you are persistent, if nothing else. But you forget one crucial detail. There are three spears under my command, and Trishula is but one.
What? Go. Hardly worth the effort. They were so intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, Your Highness. <sighs> They're taking me back, but I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. Quiet? Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the rescuers are of no use to the Empire? There would be no point in subjecting them to the same trials. After you have been taken away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! But what can I do? Need you ask? You know exactly what you can do. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? It sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. No, of course not! I can't just abandon them! What is that? Get on? All right. <laughs> My apologies, Your Radiance. Trishula, Gable, Gugnir! Don't let that dragon escape. After it! If you command, but at great risk. How so? That was the Shining Dragon. Our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. The Shining Dragon. Its power is legend. Our records say it was the greatest of the world dragons. Then no, I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Still, I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island 
a sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled, Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons, using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain, and sought to build a new world atop the old. High Elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, war spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? The battle had exacted a terrible price upon their kind, and few remained. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the elven kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory, their famed dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body and granted those blessings unto mortals, was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the Shining Dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. This is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on, Melchior? Eight? No, nine years? Nine years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. 
I'll hear objections. I have none, Your Highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If His Majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon, I reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet, not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him, yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Hmm? Zest, you're late. Care to explain yourself? And show some respect. I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of Her Highness. Already crawling up my back, Jorg? I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the Spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy Machina aren't up to snuff. Zest! I told you to mind your tongue! What? Just calling it like I see it? Zest! Fine, fine, I'll just go. Georg, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knight Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that.
Does it still hurt? You're safe now. I promise. What's going on? Hey, no moving! Stop! You'll reopen your wounds! I see. I'm having... a dream? Which means this is... back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Oh... No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, alright? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That... Girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? Your Radiance, you're awake. W where You're in Marga, Your Radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika, Your Radiance. Alright, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we Divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new Diva Magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical texts. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt... off. Empty. But then I met you, Your Radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... and now you're really here! Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, Honestly I'm, just I'm just glad to have, have someone, someone looking after, after me. me. <laughs> Tame to Kirika's trait, Dragon Believer. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh, oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! And that was Primula. Her mother, Emma, runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Mom, look! Oh, my. Good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. The princess? In time, Your Radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here, why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche, Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. It's a profound honor to meet 
Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? You got it, but uh, what's the crown princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no, not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay, wherever you want to go, point the way. Welcome, Sir Yuma. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble hall. Y yes sir Oh, come, Sir Yuma. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now, but we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh, w well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Uh... If you've come this far just to clam up, ugh! I don't understand you. Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, I, I didn't mean... <sighs> no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Hmm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, 
Take whatever time you need, see the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Fair? Yes, if you say so, your majesty. Sorry about that, I can be short-tempered sometimes. About the Shining Dragon, it's really up to you. Okay, but... What about the War of the Empire? Oh, don't worry about that. We've finally gained our foot footing. Hey, don't make that face. Oh, I know, I'll show you around the city, Yuma. Show me around, huh? That would be great. I've never been to such a big city before, so I'd like to check it out. Okay, good. Let's go. Uh, Marga is a flourishing coastal city and Astoria's capital. It's home to many people and the king's castle rests at its center. You make use of the facilities here and interact with the citizens. Story icons. Things that can be examined like the citizens of Marga sometimes have a story icon displayed on them. To move the main events forward, look for the double exclamation mark icon. Woo! Later on, we'll have some side quests start popping too. Because we're finally getting to the point where the game opens up quite a lot. I'm bored. Hey, you want something? Hey, uh, Lizalette, I think. Lizalette. Yeah, I think that's how you say it. This is Yuma. He's a new friend. I'm showing him around the city. Hey, new guy. Charmed. Nice to meet you. If you want something, I'll sell it. You'd better have the money, though. Travels the world as a merchant buying and selling items. You will need gold to buy items. Gold could be obtained by defeating monsters and selling items. Make sure to prepare for your journey when traveling around Elfheim. She may look unfriendly, but she's not a bad person. You can buy a lot of useful stuff here. Let's go see... No, oh, jeez. Let's go. See you later, Lizalette. Sure, later. <laughs> I read it too fast. Threw me off there for a moment. Shop icons. Characters who can who own shops or facilities have shop icons on them. Woo! Oh, hi. Welcome. Take your pick. So we're pretty early on in the game that I'm not gonna worry about buying anything. Take your pick. Have a nice day. There's not much point right now to do such a thing. Did you need something? Selections and affection. Oh yeah, that's another thing. A lot of the girl main characters in this game are potential waifus, is the best way to put it. So this game does have a romance feature to it. Um, sometimes when you are conversing with your friends, a selection will appear. For you to choose how Yuma will reply. Mm. Oh man, must be tired or something. Uh, depending on your selection, the affection of your companions will change. You should think about their personality and behaviors when replying. Letting time run out is also an option. Your companion's affection changes during events with them, as well as battles. Get closer to the characters you like. One sec, guys. Uh, don't 
don't know who that is. Uh, you, yes. Your radiance. Is there something you require of me? Nothing really. I just wanted to talk to you. I wanted to say thanks for saving me. Can you please speak to me? I am undeserving of your gratitude. It is my duty as a diva magica to serve you, your radiance. Rather, it was you who saved me. My humblest thanks, your radiance. My apologies. Please watch over us, your radiance. <laughs> Just a pinch of oops. Oh, Sonia, want me to whip something up? No, not today. I'm here to introduce the newest resident of the Seagull Inn. This is Yuma. Well, the name's Rapple. <laughs> what a name. I am an alchemist. Nice to meet ya. Likewise, but what's an alchemist? Wait, you don't even know what an alchem alchemy is? Fine. Listen up, alchemy's real useful. You can make everything from military weapons to day-to-day -day supplies, for instance. Rapples Workshop. You can use materials at Rapples Workshop to synthesize items and aspect pieces. With item synthesis, he will create potions and materials that will be useful on your journeys. With aspect synthesis, he will create aspect pieces that will come in handy in battle. So as long as you bring me the materials, I can make anything you need. You left a message or whatever it was. One sec, guys. Yeah, okay. Just a doctor's appointment. Okay, thanks for that. Heh, <laughs> you're the honest type, huh? I like you. You can have this. Obtained vital. What's this? It's really pretty. That's an aspect piece. Gives you an aspect, and... Well... Let's just say it can make you powerful in all kinds of ways. Try sticking that on your weapon. I'll try it, thanks. Come on. Let's keep going. See you, Rapple. Oh, Sonia, wait a sec. Um, when you get back to the Seagull Inn, tell Primlia... Wow, I butchered that name. We forgot your change last time. Don't be so oblivious. I'll uh, hold on to it for you, so please swing by and pick it up. Huh. Uh, haha. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell her every word. Uh, okay, fine. I'm counting on you. See you, Rapple. Rapple. That's pretty much all the major sites. Are you tired, Yuma? A little. I've never seen such a bustling city. Yeah, it's the capital of Astoria, so you can get just about anything you need here. Thus far, we've been able to hold off the Empire, so residents of the city have been able to live here in peace. Alright, let's return to Seagull and, and rest. Just a pinch Welcome! Of what are we making? Yeah, I don't think what are we making? To do yet. See you around! Ooh, aspects. 
Increases max HP by 10%. Cool. Did you need something? Welcome back. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Ah, about time. You're our dragon boy, then. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Uh, hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What, a monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. And when the Throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted Dragoneer. You can always rely on them. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm-hmm. Long ago, the Shining Dragon inside you gifted them to the Ancients so they could protect themselves. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria, the Elves... Wellant. Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, Astoria and Wellentine relations are peaceful. The Elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father's place, you know. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe. W me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait. And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward, are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? B but she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses. Get after her right now, boy. Hop to. Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll go. I'm going. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates. Oh, Yuma. Would you hold on a moment? Sure, what's wrong? You're heading to the Windia Grasslands, aren't you? There are a lot of monsters there, so be careful. If you get tired, you can come back to the Seagull Inn and rest any time, okay? Yes, if I return to the inn. 
New amount of the party will stay at Siegel Inn. The party's HP and MP can be restored by talking to Emma and resting. Uh, make sure to rest often. Should be an obvious thing to do. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. And Irradiance, let us go after Sonya. Mm hmm. Be careful, you two. Mahem? Mahem? Quest memo. You can open the quest memo by pressing R2. The quest memo has notes about quests you've accepted and their current status. Traits and bonds. Traits are the quirks and characteristics of each character. You could change them in the bond diorama menu. Characters next to each other on the bond diagram will form different bonds depending on the combination of their traits. The type of the bond and its strength greatly affected the resonance that occurs during battles. Set up the traits the way you like and create your own bond diagram. Emma, I'm sorry, but could I get your help carrying the groceries? Of course, it's the least I can do. You take such good care of us. Mm hmm. Keep up that talk, and you might find yourself with a sneaky extra helping of beef stew tonight, young man. Ha! <laughs> I'll look forward. Whoa. These are heavy. Hey, Emma. Looking pretty as ever. Hey, you know, what else is pretty? This morning's catch. You want some fish on discount just for you. Oh, really? How generous. Yes, I think I'll... Huh? Yeah, but you said you were making beef stew. I did say that. But we can fry up the fish for breakfast tomorrow, can't we? That's a good thought. Hey, Emma. Or, boy. Emma. Ha. <laughs> Just got a fresh harvest in from the orchards if you want anything. Hmm. Already got what I need for dinner, I'm afraid. Oh, no, no. That won't do. If you don't buy it today, I won't have produce from these orchards again for a while. They're worth your money, I swear. Oh, I'm too easily persuaded. Yes, all right. Thanks, Emma. You really know what's up. Emma, I don't think this stuff is really stewing material. Mm-hmm. I suppose lunch tomorrow, perhaps. Oh, Emma, the meat pies just came out of the oven. You want them for your customers? I'll give you the wholesale discount. I left some top tier wine for you, Emma. Keep it away from the dragon ears, though. I know you've got some guests old enough to drink. Emma, hey Emma, over here. You need veggies? We've got a sale on garden bundles. They're too kind. I suppose I'll just take everything. What? Really? 
Most of this has nothing to do with the stew, you're sure? I'll be fine. This is why I have you here, dear, to carry things. And that's not really the problem I was trying to. Oh boy. Thank goodness for those discounts. I ended up saving quite a bit. We're super sure about this. There's a week's worth of groceries here. Some of it might spoil. It'll be fine, dear. It always ends up like this. I go to pick up a few things and I end up with mountains of food. What? You always buy this much? How do you even go through all of this before it goes bad? Mom! Hey, Prima. What's the big rush? Uncle Burrow said he's bringing a lot of the knights over to the seagull, but the pantry's all empty. There's no way we're gonna have enough to feed them all, even if we want to the market right now. Mm -hmm. That's all right, Pablo. Well, look, what's with all the food? That's way more than enough. This is great. Thanks, Mom. Amazing. It all worked out in the end. See, I told you. We always find some place to put it. I've never had to waste food in my life. I guess I'm just lucky. Oh? That part is kind of true. A lot of people don't think about it, but you might be buying for like, you know, two weeks worth of food or, you know, stuff that could last a month or so in the freezer and shit. Back then, you were stuck almost buying just for the week or daily, oh, honestly. Hi. Welcome. You're my impeccable timing. I'm bored half to death. Keep me company a while. Oh, it was a lot bored. Are you sure it's okay for you not to be manning the shop? The shop is always open. In the end, whether business takes place or not is up to my customers, not me. I don't think I need anything in particular, but... Uh, What's this bottled stuff? Medicine? Hand cream. Made from seal fat. Feel free to sample some if you've been experiencing dryness. Hand cream. I don't think I need it, but thanks. Anyway, what's this bottle over here? Oh, that's a pickled tree nut from the south. You coat it in spicy miso before you bake it. Makes a good treat. Nice. You really do have everything, don't you? And at the same time, it's all over the place. <laughs> well, I just sell what I have. The import business demand depends on a lot of seasonal things. Even so, northern seal fat Southern tree nuts. How did you get your inventory so d diversified? Hmm. Sonia said the war is putting pressure on trade routes. Getting things from place to place is really dangerous right now. But you have things from all over the world here. How do you manage it? It's simple, Yuma. Simple. It's a trade secret. Like a secret recipe. Hello? Primula, welcome. You're in high spirits, I see. Do you have the thing we ordered last time? Yes. It just came in this morning. Here. Thanks. And here's the money. What did you buy, Primula? A knife made from Kami metal. 
it cuts super well. We had one for a long time, but it finally broke really far to the west. Though, with how dangerous it's been, far west, huh? I wonder why they're still peddling weapons like knives when there's a war going on. It's asking for trouble. You understand now, though. Rain or shine, I'll keep this place open until the imports dry up. Come by if you need something the other shops don't have. Myst <laughs> Mysterious import shop, huh? I forgot how much How's reading is in this game. Kyoka, Yuma, what's up? Oh, uh, well, stuff happened, so now we're helping you two. Oh yeah? Thanks, you too. Well, I don't think it's anything we should be thanked for. Huh. What's wrong, Yuma? Nothing. I just noticed that strange tower over there. So, I was just wondering what it is. Oh, that? People call it the Unreachable Tower. The unreachable Tower? Yep. No matter how fast you walk or how hard your horse runs, it's no use. You can't get close to it. At least, that's what people have always said. I see. What an interesting tower. Yeah, take this, Yuma. The world map. Oh, a map. Yep. See these markers to me? can view the continent of Alphine by pressing that button. One look at the map should tell you where you are and where you need to go. Don't be afraid to check it when you need to. Okay? I think you're ready now. Let's go. Let's go. Field chats. Sometimes characters initiate a conversation while on the field. Various interactions can take place, including small talk and advice regarding the current objective. Depending on the message, you can respond by pressing L1 or R1. Nice simple map. Obviously pretty long though. battle system's pretty flat with the game so it's pretty smooth all right actually really appreciate it yes Is there no other way Resonance. During combat, ally may trigger an instance of resonance. The character 
who resonates will support the player in various ways. Enemy approaching. Come at me. That's why I'm excited though, to see what the new Tails games can be like. It looks like there's only like two characters in that game. So definitely interested. Tails really hasn't switched up its gameplay mechanics for a very long time. I would say they may have done a few things different every here and there, but here they come. I nothing like opponent. out of ordinary. Yes. Their combat systems are pretty much the same for years. Definitely interested to see what they're planning on doing now. Obviously this game does seem to have some grind to it, so every once in a while I'll probably get on and just rumble. I won't do anything in particular, except for just killing At certain points of the get of our uh, playthrough for the series. I won't be streaming those. Get ready! Here they come! So you're all aware if there's like a video where I picked up a piano from like 10 levels higher than that's for some while. So it's the uh, one thing I've held right. myself up to is that I'm gonna do if I have to grind in a game, I'm gonna grind off stream. Most of the time I doubt doubt it. I doubt I'll ever have to grind, but this game has a lot of side quests in it for you to fight pretty tough monsters. <laughs> So, I would bet 
at a certain point, I would probably grind. Keep your guard fixed. Don't just stand there. Take this. You can count on me. We make a good team. No escape. You can count on me. We make a good team. streaming I brought it up in Tales but I might as well bring it up again uh, what I do for streams for what I'm going to an area um, usually I aim to get at least 5 levels per new area that I've encountered per character I will probably keep that going. Cause like everything here is save instance level six. So I know I'm aiming to have my characters at least be level six by the time I'm done with this little segment right here. Get ready! Here they come Get ready! Here they come! I shall fight. So I think past five levels will be a grind scenario. If I ever run into a, a point like that, if I level up past five times, the characters are going through an area, that's gonna tell me that before my next stream. Basically, that's my guidelines of I need to grind. So honestly, if you're if you're gaining that, you are definitely one of the ones where you need to step back and grind. Because sure. that's a lot of levels. Anything past five in an area, usually in end game, it's that's a lot. Take this! How about this? 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 And that's not counting like a boss level. It's so the way I see it, a boss should probably get over If a boss doesn't level you, that means that you're over level. Usually that's what that means. That's, that's good. Good to see when you're playing an RPG game. Or at least that's the guidelines I've always had. RPGs. I know it's uh, different for everybody. Like, everybody has their own strats. Um, different cues. Alright. For different things. We've been spotted. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, there. Yeah, here we go. There. Go. Keep your guard up. Yeah, there. Yeah, take this. They break those turtles. They drop. Can you take this? Can you take this? Can you take this? Go! Go! Yeah, yeah. It's over. Fight this hobgoblin. I shall be your opponent. How's that? I've got your back. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I've been 
Well, I need to do this series for so long now. Normally, I would have played it. Now I'm uh, worried uh, when I used to not stream. But because I wanted to stream it, I really have a lot on playing it. I'm just, I'm definitely glad to be back in it. Definitely glad that I can stream it finally. Get ready. Here they come. It's not like I wasn't really enjoying my other games that I was playing. It's just, this is one game that I really want to play into. Because uh, one thing that uh, you guys will learn about me is I really love dragons. So anything that generally has a storyline with dragons, I usually will dive right into it. Uh, my favorite RPG was probably The Legend of Dragon. Like, above every video game out there. It just, to me, that's all-time classic. You can't beat it. Not even Foul Fantasy, for me, is above that. Enemy approaching. Yes. I can't. Yeah, there, there. Uh, eventually, I might actually do a throwback playthrough sometime in the future and play Legend Dragon. So I haven't played it in a long time. For me, I was like. Eight years ago, at least. Back. PS2 was the top system. Or, like, for Sony, at least. I think PS2 it was Xbox, wasn't it? I can't really remember. That was such a long time ago. Alright. But yeah, I definitely, I would be down with that, because uh, there's a lot of throwback games that I actually do want to stream. Uh, like obviously, when we go to play Final Fantasy VII Remake, I'm going to do a playthrough of Final Fantasy VII, the original. Before that comes out, I think that'd be a lot of fun. We've been spotted. Yeah, there's something I wanted to do. Force. Spock. Is there no other way? Let's fight back. back together. Can you take this? With all my power. This is it. There, there, there. How's that? I'm sure like, that's like that for any uh, streamer too. There's so many games out that uh, watch stream once you finally get to kind of play, I guess, addicted to streaming. That's the best over. way to put it. There's definitely a lot of games that I want to get to eventually that I would love to do a stream of. It's kind of cool, uh, like for me, for instance, streaming me actually beating a game, I could kind of go back and rewatch it and be like, 
Oh yeah, okay, so yes. that's what happened in the story, I remember now. And like, kind of recollect the ending, because there's some games I've been in way back All right. forever ago that I... There's a lot of areas I don't remember. Like, Tales of Vesperia, I think I forgot the whole entire s third arc of that game. I couldn't remember it at all. Like, the most I could remember is that you fight Duke at the end. There, that monster. With the three of us, we can do more than just scout it. We could slay it. Can I count on you, Yuma? Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's go. With your power, you should have no difficulties whatsoever with that monster, your radiance. That may be so, but... Yuma, if you don't want to... No, I'm okay, I want to help. That's why I came. All right then, let's do this. Boss battle. You may can now unleash the power of the shining dragon. And he can perform a dragon shift. When controlling Yuma, hold L1 and press R1 to transform into a dragon. In addition to increased power, dragon shifting also decreases the MP used to perform force abilities for the other dragon years. The Griffin is a dangerous monster. Transform and fight with Sonya and Kirika. Alright! This power is mine! Shining Dragon Tutorial The Shining Dragon can attack with Circle and Triangle. He also has a dash attack with X and a backstep attack with Square. Actions with the Shining Dragon do not consume AP, also the strength he strengthens the abilities of the Dragoneers in battle with him. Dragoneers will consume less MP when using forces and will be more likely to resonate. However, the Shining Dragon's MP will gradually deplete over time. You will also be unable to switch with characters or flee from battle. Uh, press those to revert back to normal, so on. Going berserk. If you try to perform an action when MP is low or fully depleted, the Shining Dragon may go berserk. In addition to sending out various effects to both allies and enemies, he will also lose control and go on a rampage. When a Dragon Shift keep track of your remaining MP to avoid going berserk. Ailments. Pretty obvious. Said her healing, it, it, this game's healing is so much easier than most. It's actually kind of sad. 
how easy it is. This game. I enjoy it. Not all the game, but... Like, in a, a Tails game, I absolutely loathe it. It just... Oh, crap. It's, uh... It doesn't work too well. Like, you're better at an AI deal over you trying to put up with those controls. It's very frustrating. This is it! <laughs> That's our thing, guard actually is useful in this game. I feel like in Tails, guard was not as useful. And don't be wrong, I love Tails. Like, I love the Tails series, but... Some of the battle mechanics, I wish they would make better. Watch this! This is it! Ooh, nice. Paralyzed him. Yeah! Sad that Sonya had to perish, but... Did it. <sighs> Looks like the coast is clear. Looks that way. Thank you, Yuma. You were a big help. Let's go report back to Burroughs now, huh? There's no need to return to town. We can give our report right here, actually. Ah, I've been made, eh? Captain Burroughs, what are you doing here? Begging your forgiveness, my lady. Killing monsters wasn't the only thing you were doing out here. I wanted to see Yuma and the Shining Dragon in a real fight, you understand. I see. That's why you were so adamant about this. Yep. Figured a monster sighting was as good a chance as I was gonna get. I suspected as much. Captain Burroughs! Don't you think that's extremely unfair to Yuma? You tell him too, Kirika! How it's an affront to the Shining Dragon's honor or, or something. That may be so. But his radiance has blessed us with his sublime presence, his holy splendor. I knew of Sir Burroughs' plan, but said nothing, so that I might lay eyes on his radiance again. I'm not certain I have any place chastising the good captain for his actions. Lay eyes on... Whatever. Fine. Fine. We'll talk about it later. Let's just head back to the castle for now, okay? And I'll be sure to mention it to my father. How bravely you fought alongside us, Yuma. Yeah. I was curious to see if there was like a fast button to switch party members. It looks like you would have to go in here and do that. So, I don't know how much different the refrain mode is from the original game. Most I understand is that Dragonier chick that we saw in the beginning of the game becomes your Enemy approaching. ally? Enemy approaching. And same with another dude that I think is a uh, enemy in the game. <laughs> And then, uh, of course, more romance options are open up. But I don't know how much it influences the story is set, uh, 
maybe some dialogue? I don't know. I'll probably cover it though eventually. Because I do want to play the refrain version. Enemy approaching. I just don't know how long this game is. That's why I'm also kind of hesitant to say I'll stream it. But we'll see what happens. Okay. Welcome back. Rest. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Just new conversations. Hi. This one is with Prim. Hey mom, I'm done with the tables. I'm gonna do the counter next, okay? Can I use these supplies by the stairs? Go right ahead. Thank you, Primula. You've been a very good girl today. Here, Primula. Helping Emma clean the place up? You look like you're really getting into it. Mom, there's a ton to do still, and it's gonna get dark before we get any of it done. Yes, dear. Yes. Goodness me, I'll go and do the kitchen. Yeah, That's the countertops done. Now, what's left? You sure put in a lot of work around here, Primula. Don't you ever take it easy? Look at Emma. She's going at her own pace. Don't let her fool you. She's like a duck. <laughs> Yuma, she may look calm, but she's actually putting in ten times as much work under the surface. Ten times, huh? You look like you're working so hard next to her. Oh, she's not. She looks relaxed. That's how she gets you. Take your eyes off her for a moment and BAM! Whatever she was standing there is spotless. Somehow I doubt that, but... How's it going over there, Primula? I finished with the kitchen and the storehouse. Huh? You're done. The storehouse? Already? Uh, I have to work faster if I want to keep up. Um, leave the windows to me, okay? Ah! Primula. Are you alright? I'm okay, but the vase... Oh, goodness me. I I'm sorry. I know you like that one. It's alright, dear. It's just how time is. Time undoes everything. With a form, all you did was nudge it along a bit. Hmm? I, I just wanna... I wanna help. I don't want to... Have to work so much. I want you to have time to rest, and and the faster we finish cleaning, the more time I have to spend with you. Mom. Ah, I think I get it now, Primula. Oh, my little girl, you help plenty, Primula. I swear I wouldn't know what to do without you. But you shouldn't push yourself this hard, dear. Okay. Don't hurt yourself to do kindness for others. It'd break my heart. Besides, aren't we spending this time together right now? I like cleaning with you, little sunbeam. Didn't you know? Okay, thanks, Mom. I like doing this with you, too. Oh, but the vase. The sun's gonna set soon, so we should pick up the pieces, right? It'd be awkward to have to step over him. Yes, dear. Good idea. I don't think I've ever felt envious of Primula before, but I can't help but think it must be nice having a parent. How do you do? 
There is another one. Hey, welcome. Hey, Yuma. What there will be? Well, today I'm gonna need. Hey, Yuma. Wait, I said wait. Hey, you about wait. <laughs> oh, Primula, what's she doing here? Primula, sorry, I didn't hear you calling for me. Must have been the birds distracting me. What's up? I kept shouting your name and you didn't hear me at all? And now you're making me come to a place like this? Ugh. A place like this. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It's not like I want you around. Is that what passes for a customer service voice here? Then, as an actual service industry worker, I'm offended. Hey, Yuma, let's go home and get dinner. Forget this place. I'll make you whatever you want. For Primula's cooking. Uh, I need to get some things from Raffle first, Primula. Can you go home and get started without me? But... <laughs> Hear that? Kids should stay home and let the adults do real business. Where are you? I hate you, Rapple. You really shouldn't say that kind of stuff to her, you know? Rapple, it's not okay. Hey, Yuma. Can I ask you a question? Huh? What's up? Uh, um, what do you think of Primula? What do I think of her? I mean, she's Emma's daughter. She helps run the seagull. Not sure what you're looking for here. Uh, I mean, do you, you know, like, huh? Like, of course I like Primula. What? But there's a huge age difference between you guys. Uh, that's not a big deal. She's fun to have around, so I like her a lot, actually. You, you like Primula a lot. You and Primula. You and Primula. She even cooks meals for him in a way. She really has it together, cooking, cleaning, and minding the inn. I hope whoever she ends up marrying appreciates that. Yeah, yeah, with those homemaking skills, she'll make a good... Wait, whoever she ends up marrying, I, I thought you were eyeing her. What, Mary? No, haha, <laughs> no, Rapple. There's a huge age difference between us. <laughs> oh, uh, then what is Primula to you? Hmm? I think she's like a sister, yeah. This must be what having a little sister feels like. It's a sister. It's no marriage. More importantly, Rapple, there's something I want you to... Oh, sister, I get it. Yeah, you're a real good brother, Yuma. The best. All right, then. What do you want today, Yuma? Big sale discounts on anything. <laughs> on everything, I mean. Jesus. Uh, take my whole back catalog, you thief. Okay, thanks, Rapple. Uh, Rapple, what's got into him? How's it going? <sighs> I'm bored. Actually, that led us straight to the end of our video. Alright, so, guys got to see the beginning and got a taste of what the game's gonna be like, generally. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope to see more people jump into the series, because I th think it's well-deserved. I mean, the story I heard is really good. So... 
I hope uh, more do come along to check it out with me as I continue my adventures through Refrain. Other than that, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one, Blades. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.